strength of mind, Phil. He really thought that one through tactically. He made his move as Lawrence de Vries was coming back off the front doing a turn. Really ambushed him because he's the man closest to him on that classification. And here he's he comes. Chasing, actually. So he's better look over his shoulder and have a look because it is Lawrence de Vries. He thought, well, you thought you'd tricked me. I'm in this too, and I might just come up and jump over the top of you for these points. Let's see if Roscoff well, is paying attention. If our counter ticker clock is right, he's still got three tenths of a kilometre to the summit. So he's seen him. Catch him. <laughs> he's, he's seen him, him coming, Phil. And that road is kicking again. I see what you mean about this now. So De Vries is trying to ride him down, or at least consolidate six points per second. Well, he was sneaking up on him. You saw De Vries in a huge gear going really fast. But as soon as Roscoff took a look over his shoulder and saw him, he re-accelerated and De Vries said, OK, you caught me. I was trying to ambush you. It will be Roscoff. He's only 100 metres from the line now. It was a long-range attack. Oh, that, do you see those black cockatoos? Yeah, they're beautiful. Through the camera. They're not common. And there he goes over the top, the American in paradise in South Australia. Joseph Joe Roscoff, as we call him, he gets 10 points. De Vries will come over in second for six points, and he's the only other rider in at the classification anyway, so they've consolidated their positions.